channel. I'm Brenda. This is Brenda's Everyday Bites. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so excited to have you. We've had quite a few new subscribers over the last month and I'm so excited that you guys are here. I hope that you're enjoying my content and I can't wait to make more for you. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get to it. Tonight I'm making some queso chicken in the crock pot. So I just have three big chicken breasts that I went ahead and put in there. I'm gonna start by just salt and peppering those. I'll just put a little pepper on each one. These are frozen. Um, you could definitely use thawed. You wouldn't have to cook it as long. I'm gonna do mine on high for probably about four to five hours. Um, but if they were thawed, you could definitely do them for about three hours or on low for four to six hours. Okay, so now that I have the salt and pepper, just taking this taco seasoning, I'm gonna dump that over the top as well. And then I have a can of Rotel. I have not drained that. I'm just gonna dump that in with all the juice. And this does have the green chilies in it. Um, Obviously that's what Rotel is, but I also went ahead and got another can of green, green chilies just to spice that up a little bit more. They're not really spicy, but add some more flavor, I guess. All right, so now we will put this on high for about four hours. And once that's done, I will show you the last thing that we're gonna do with this. Now that our chicken is completely done, taking my meat masher here to go ahead and shred that chicken up right here in the crock pot. This is a really simple way to shred your chicken. And now for our final ingredient, I have this jar of queso. I got the Monterey Jack here. You could also use a cheddar queso if you had it on hand. This is just what we have. I'm gonna go ahead and add this into that, give it a good stir. I'll show you guys what that looks like when I am done with it. And here we go. Here's the final product after that's all been stirred in. This is so creamy looking. I'm so excited. We are going to serve this on some tortilla shells, a little bit of cheese and lettuce, but I think this would also be really great just scooping it up with some tortillas, some tortilla chips. But I will show you guys what this looks like once we have it in our tacos. So we're just making these as some soft shell tacos. So for my daughters, she just wanted a little bit of cheese, lettuce, and sour cream. You could definitely add anything on here. Some uh, tomatoes, black olives, jalapenos, anything that you like on your taco. I'm just going to roll this up. And we're going to serve that alongside some applesauce and some tortilla chips tonight. Hey guys, tonight we're making barbecue chicken casserole. These are just a few of the ingredients that I have. Let me show you how I am putting that together. All right, so I'm starting with about two cups of shredded chicken. I just made that in my crock pot last night and then shredded that up. Then I have half a cup of corn. It did call for a full cup, but I'm not a huge corn fan, so I'm only doing half a cup. And then half a cup of green peppers. i add those in. And then, oh, we'll do that after this, sorry. We have a can of black beans that I just rinsed. And now we have this garlic pepper. It's pretty much garlic, pepper, onion, and salt. So it's a good mixture of all of those different spices all in one. I'm gonna add a little bit of that. I did season the chicken while I was cooking it as well, but there's that here too. And then I am just using about a half a cup of this barbecue sauce. Get that added in. You could definitely add like green chilies if you wanted to spice it up a little bit or maybe some jalapenos, that would probably be good. Um, my daughter's a pretty picky eater, so we try not to get things too spicy here. All right, 
And then finally, I'm gonna add in about half of this container of these French fried onions. And we're gonna leave the rest to put on the top later. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give that a big stir and just combine everything together really well. I have this completely mixed together. I am going to set that aside for just a second and grab my nine by 13. Oh, I cannot speak today. My nine by 13 baking dish. We're just gonna go ahead and pour that all inside here. This is going to make quite a bit. You could definitely half this recipe if there's only a few of you. You could even double it if you're taking it to a potluck. Really, really, really simple. And the hardest thing on this was waiting for that chicken to cook. So we're just going to spread this out. All right, and finally, I just have some Colby Jack cheese that I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle over the top. You could use a Mexican blend if you had something like that, or maybe even like a pepper jack to spice it up even more. All right, we're just gonna cover this with some tin foil. We're gonna put that in a 375 degree oven for about 25 minutes. I just took it out of the oven, and I'm gonna add the rest of these crispy french fried onions right on top. And I'm gonna stick that back in the oven uncovered for another 10 minutes. And here we are, done and out of the oven. My kitchen smells so good. I cannot wait to get into this. I served mine up with some Irish soda bread that I had left over from St. Patrick's Day. It was a super delicious. This has such great barbecue flavor. Those uh, green peppers, that really makes it pop. Definitely try this one, it was super easy and super delicious.